Today, I want to chat specifically to my tap dancer friends. Before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe, please like this video, please turn on the bell notification so you can know when these videos come out and you don't have to guess. Tap dancers don't get as much love sometimes. Like thinking of dancers as athletes, like the, the thing that doesn't come to mind is a tap dancer. Obviously, we are, okay? which is why I wanted to do this video. And I was having an amazing session with one of my clients who is an incredible tap dancer. And we were just chatting about how much all tappers would benefit from doing these exercises that we were doing together. So I want to go over some exercises that all tappers should put into their repertoire, into their exercise routine, and should be doing on a consistent basis to not only prevent injury, but also just have ease with your craft and basically just perform at a higher capacity. And I know that a lot of tappers usually complain about shin splints and you know are striving to have really loose and mobile hips to do a lot of the things that are required so what does that look like what are those exercises that you can do on a regular basis to prevent shin splints to make sure your hips are strong but also mobile this is what we do in the world of strength and conditioning is we look at the sport, what does the sport require of you, and then we create an exercise routine that is going to benefit exactly what is required of that sport. Dancers are athletes, tap dancers are athletes, so let's just get that straight and Let's include these workouts in your current exercise routine, Tap Dancer. We definitely need to have strong mobile hips for all the stamping, stomping, and time stepping we'll be doing as Tap Dancers. So this reverse plank drive is a great exercise to do. You can add a band to your feet here to add some resistance, but you can also just start off with no band at all. It's hard as it is. Keep those hips nice and high, keep those glutes engaged, and drive that knee toward the chest. Take it to a standing position for another variation of this exercise. Having good ankle dorsiflexion is super important as a tap dancer. We need to have strong anterior tibialis, which is that front of the shin where a lot of us experience shin splints. So just resting in this position, having an isometric hold in this hinged dorsiflex position is gonna strengthen that dorsiflexion of the ankles. This is the Patrick step made famous by knees over toes guy. And essentially we're working on our ankle dorsiflexion here as well. We're just plieing in this position, building um, strength in that ankle mobile. Another way to build strength while also creating flexibility is to do some FRC pails and rails, which is going to build strength within that dorsiflexion of the ankle. A lot of these concepts, uh, functional range conditioning and pails and rails are can be super complicated, but it's a lot of what I do with my clients. So shoot me a comment below if you're interested in learning more about pails and rails and FRC. I hope this was helpful for you. Please like, please subscribe, please share this video to all of my tap dancer friends and any other dancers that might benefit from subscribing to my channel so that I can help you all be the best you can be. Till next time, friends.